I am mind blown by this new robot with human-like intelligence from Figure. Let's go check it out right now. Oh, what do you call a robot who likes to row? A robot. Hey, Figure One, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. So he asks uh, the robot here, what can you see on the table? And he says, he sees the apple and he sees the, the, the drying rack and, and uh, the dinnerware. And it seems to be in some kind of a room here. So it's not a, an enclosure. It's actually a, a wide space. I don't know how much of this you can see. Uh, I'm saying he, which is kind of weird. Uh, I didn't uh, read into it. I'm just reacting to this for the first time. Great. Can I have something to eat? And now it says, uh, can you make me something to eat? So let's see how he reacts to that. And again, I said he. It just, ah, uh, it's mm, so hard. I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, it comes instinctively. Let's keep watching. Sure thing. Sure thing, he says. He's getting the apple. Oh, he's giving him the apple. He, he identifies Wait. that as food. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? He wants him to pick up the trash. On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. He identified the apple as the only edible thing on the table and just gave it to him while he was picking up the trash. And he identified the trash as trash and put it in the little basket there. It was very cool. I'm just going to keep referring to him as a he. Great. Sorry if that offends so, anyone. Based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The Calculating. dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? So this is likely, these two items here are likely going into the drying rack next. Probably because it, they look clean, I would guess. You would ask them to be put in the dishwasher. Let's see what happens. Of course. It's actually, it's five fingers as well. It's like very uh, agile with this. Putting in the rack fairly well. I mean, this is wild. How do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. The apple found its new owner. That's, that's uh, I like that. That's funny. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. I mean, this is wild. Fully learned, fast, dexterous manipulation. And this is AGI, so this is artificial general intelligence. I mean, this is... Wow. I get blown away every once in a while. Nowadays, it seems to be happening more frequently. I remember like the first time I got really blown away was when Stable Diffusion was released. The next time was like ControlNet. The next time after that, you got Sora. And now this. I mean, you've seen those Boston Dynamic uh, robots, whatever. But this, this is another level. Those are just, you know, they're agile. They're walking around, jumping. But this is... AGI, like I told you, artificial general intelligence, this blows me away. It can talk, it can understand, it can see what's going on, it can use five fingers, and it says, Figure is the first of its kind AI robotics company bringing a general purpose humanoid to life. I mean, it's it's the beginning of Terminator. Are, is this like our saviors? Or are they gonna be helping us with the labor and workforce, or are they gonna, you know, rebel and kill us all until, um, we can travel back in time and stop them. It says, we're engineering the humanoid to make humans capable of more. With the first humanoid by our side in the workforce, we'll have the ability to create and produce so much more, address drastic labor shortages, and reduce the number of workers in unsafe jobs. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Like, there's a lot of unsafe jobs out there that can be automated uh, through machines like this. Introducing figure 01, payload weights, what? It just, it's just 60 kilos? This can't be, can it? It seems like it should be much, much heavier. This is like a lot of steel and stuff like that, but maybe. I don't I'm, that's what they say, so why not? They're probably right. Runtime, five hours currently. But I mean, batteries get better all the time. We've designed our world for the human form. Hands allow us to open doors and use tools, arms and legs allow us to move efficiently, climb stairs, lift boxes and more. I mean, We've kind of evolved for quite some time now, humans, and we know, like, the world is set up for humans. So it kind of makes sense to build a machine that is, uh, well, essentially human. 
and actually says here the potential of our future lies in the human form. And like I said, yeah, I mean, the world is, is made for humans. We made it for humans, the way we built things. Wow, this is, I, I mean, oof, I love it. I'm also a little scared of it, but I mean, that's fine. I can't really do much about that right now, but I am intrigued. I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What should we be using this for? I think dad jokes mainly, more dad jokes and more uh, robots to the people. As always, have a good one. See ya.